Welcome to the premiere episode of CT's Kitchen. Now, what's ironic about CT's Kitchen is I actually don't know how to cook. But luckily, my daughter Madeline is here and I'm gonna learn right along with you how she cooks her wonderful vegan recipes. She is a vegan and so am I now. It's a big change for me, so I have to learn. I can, I can cook a double cheeseburger. But Mal's gonna have to teach me how to cook vegan. So you stay tuned and she's gonna teach us both how to cook vegan. What is Mammy? Tempeh fajita salad. Tempeh fajita salad. Vegan meals, and by the way, she is vegan, so am I. Vegan meals by Mary Mary. Hey everyone, I'm gonna be making my tempeh fajita salad tonight. Um, this is my own personal recipe and I use it because I feel it's simple. It has just a few staple ingredients. It's romaine lettuce, red and green bell peppers, white onion, I also use avocado, um, a little bit of salt and pepper for taste, tomato, and salad toppings. This salad was inspired by my pop's request for fajita salad. And he actually, one night in particular was requesting a takeout salad from a restaurant, which we all know is very high in sodium. I suggested we make our own. And this salad, what's really great about it, or I, I personally enjoy, is using tempeh as my protein source. Tempeh is um, made of millet and barley. It's very high in protein. Um, one serving of it has 16 grams of protein. So I prefer fresh ingredients. Um, if you're in a rush, you can probably get a frozen bag of onion and peppers. They do um, package them that way, but I have today fresh romaine, fresh bell peppers, and fresh onions. And for fajita, you can do um, bigger slices. It's fine. It may not look like it, but I'm paying attention. <laughs> If I did that, they call me Three Fingered Larry when I get home. <laughs> I sometimes hesitate to call myself vegan. What I should say is I eat like a vegan, but I know that the vegan philosophy is more of a lifestyle than just, than just what you eat. I learned that since I decided to try vegan eating. It's much more, uh, so I would say I'm uh, plant-based. I eat plant-based, but to call myself a real vegan um, is going too far because they have a different, it's a lifestyle and they have a different belief system and it's more, it's much more than just what you eat. So I don't want to insult vegans by calling myself vegan. I just call myself plant-based. How about that plant-based? <laughs> Once you throw it into the pan, turn up the heat, you have some olive oil in there, you're gonna just stir. Stir all of your ingredients. The red and the green, it's a nice mm. color. How long is this gonna take, me in there? Um, well, now that we put the heat up to like medium, It'll probably take about eight more minutes, eight to ten more minutes before everything's ready. As you can see, I'm just cheerleading <laughs> as Maggie does all the work. I usually use minced garlic or fresh garlic, but today we're using garlic powder. So that's so, okay. With the garlic powder and the onions, you might want to refrain from kissing folks for a yeah. while. Because your yeah. breath probably going to be a little hot. <laughs> Unless they 82, so then it's all right, y'all cancel each yeah. other out. <laughs> and the difference between when you eat vegan and uh, say a double cheeseburger, which you guys well know, that I'm well known for eating, is I feel, I don't feel as heavy and weighed down after I have a vegan meal. After I would eat my normal diet that I ate for over 20 years, I always feel full and stuffed and instantly get sleepy. But I want to eat and go to sleep, which is not a good thing. But after I eat the vegan meals, I'm energetic, 
digest much faster, and I just feel generally better after eating vegan. It, it really helps me feel healthier and just general overall a better I feel better when I eat vegan. That's the difference. Hey! Mm. Uh, well, she might, might as well introduce her too. She's my grandbaby. Oh, and now it's oldest. Baby. Now let's give her a real name. We call her BB. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell her a real name. Cheyenne. Anyway. <laughs> Cheyenne. We call her nickname is BB. Everybody, every every one of grandpa's grandbaby got a nickname. If this is Cheyenne, we call her BB. And anyway, uh, she's she's named after uh, several people, but one of them is her grandmother Beatrice. So we call her BB Junior right here. Okay, here's another one. You're going to see a lot of cameos by, I got 15 grandkids, number 16 is on the way. So it's going to be a lot of cameo appearances by different grandkids. This is Shad Day right here. This is now the second oldest daughter. Uh oh. And there's number three right there. <laughs> this is Harlow, the baby. And Harlow's going to, Harlow, you helping mommy? No. Are you helping me? What you gonna do to help mom? You gotta dice those tomatoes up even smaller, so mom can put them in All right, girl, I'll be there, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> so you just gonna stand up with grandpa and we're gonna be support. We, we're the cheerleading section for mom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go, mom. <laughs> Here we have golden brown. This is, we would like this brown. Keep stirring it up mm -hmm. until it gets golden brown. Yep. Like me. Just like that. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh boy! One more. Mm. Now this one is not Madeline. This is May May. Uh, well, actually, uh, we call her May May. As I told you, all of them got a nickname. The real name is Demay. Yay! And you gonna help Auntie? Yep. Cook? Yep. What are you gonna do? Whatever she wants. Chop. Same thing like Grandpa them. doing, cheerleading. <laughs> <laughs> Standing around cheerleading. We're going to have two cheerleaders there. Lots of greens. Oh boy. Filthy cordial. Filthy portion. Lots. Lots of peppers. So here we have is the romaine lettuce at the bottom. And then on top, we have our mixture of the tempeh, peppers, and onions. Next, we're gonna to wanna to add tomato. And we have our fresh tomato here. Our family loves avocado, so. So we have our avocado, our tomato, the tempeh, the bottom, the romaine. We're gonna do this mixture of sunflower, pumpkin, seeds, and it has a little bit of cranberry in it too. So you don't typically add cranberry into fajita salads, but I like it. All right, Madeline, Chef Madeline. It looks as pretty as a picture, but the question is, how does it taste? Let's see. Mm -hmm. As my mom used to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Make sure you copy down the recipe. You can try some of this in your kitchen. We we'll have a lot more recipes. Now, featuring a lot more daughters. <laughs> Get it down. See you next time at CT's Kitchen. Mmm. Mmm. Fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>